So there was a place at home that Steve and I have always wanted to fish. But it's virtually inaccessible because you can only get there from the lake. And even once you get there, it's very difficult to wade. The water's really deep and the banks are very tall. But finally, I had the solution for how we're gonna fish this spot. Okay. Where are we going? Bass boat can't go any further. Well, yeah, but yeah, but check this out. I got I got the solution today. Look at this. Is that a U-boat? Yes. <laughs> we are going to put kick boats together and go up this river. Well, there's smallmouth up there, and we got a boat to get there. Let's do it. There you have it. All right, you're on pump duty. You're the only thing I can think about while you're doing that is, well, and due to YouTube copyright laws, I have to actually just sing it to you. Pump up the jam, pump it up. No, slow down, the, the, no, slow down. The beat, the beat is pump up the jam, pump it up. A little toe deaf this morning. I don't know if my beat's on right now. Pump with your back in a <laughs> lifting, twisting motion. Jerky motion, like <laughs> it's a jerking, twisting motion. You, need, you do need to bring your GoPro and your little water case. Yeah, I already got them in there. Um, and remember, when you kind of, when you get the boat in the water, uh -huh. you can, uh, there's like, it's kind of wet storage. All right, well, we're to the spot. That was a huge pain in the butt, but definitely not worse bringing the boats than just walking up here. As you can kind of see, it's, gonna be it's really hard to fish this from the bank i've been back here a couple times and uh there's nowhere to stand the water's really deep it'd be really hard to be able to fish this without these boats so that's why we brought them so uh early in the day we're gonna try some top water stuff we really hope uh that our new top water flies are working i'm gonna be trying out our uh, bomber or sorry i'm gonna be trying out our popping minnow and steve has on our bass gurgler so we're uh pretty excited to see how they do Hopefully we get some top water eats and hopefully you guys like that. There he is. Ooh. Little guy, maybe not quite what we were after, but that's a good fish. There he was. <laughs> oh, he was small. So like I said a second ago, a lot of times they're kind of, they have been eating it on this pause. So you definitely want to make sure that you're allowing them a little bit of time instead of just that constant chug and constant strip, kind of more erratic movements, but it may kind of vary in your fishery or day to day what they like. So kind of just keep working. Oh, that's not it. Keep working at the fly and keep kind of trying to remember, you know, when, anytime you catch a fish, remember how you were working the fly so that you can do it again.
I want to chase that one down and hunt it, hunted it down. Yep. That one's microscopic. It's a mouthful. So these little boats make it super easy to get a longer sustained drift kind of going with this current down through here and let you kind of fish the right water for longer instead of just a little window where you can cast to from the opposite shore. This kind of lets me float this whole bank and keep this fly in the strike zone. And a lot of times too, if you're, when, when they actually eat, oh, there he went, missed it. You want to maybe give it a second before you try to set the hook on them, before you come tight so that they can actually get that thing back in their mouth. Um, I actually saw a bunch of orange in that one. That one might have been a brim. A big brim, but might have been a brim. that popping minnow right in this hole. That was awesome. That would have been a really hard fish to catch if we didn't have these boats. I mean, I feel like we really figured this out. We got the boat that we needed to get up there. We have the right gear. We got good weather. Well, you know, I'll give it to you. You thought outside the box, you figured out a way for us to get to some water that we haven't been able to fish for in years that we've always wanted to. I think these things worked perfect for what we needed. For small water that you can't access with a boat, but you still want to move around and be able to get to different places and you really can't cast from the shoreline, I think you're onto something. I'm, I'm excited to see where we can go with these next. Yep, me too. I'm hungry. Let's go get some barbecue. As long as there's a beer, let's go. Nanner pudding. Ooh, you had me at nanner pudding. Yep, let's do it. Yawn. Cold nanner pudding. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed the film. It was a blast for us to get out there and really explore some water that we've only ever seen and never really been able to fish that well. It was a wonderful time for us. We had a blast and we hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. But we also have a few new things coming your way, don't we, Adam? Yeah, so if you wanna try any of the flies that you saw in the film, we have a sale going on right now just for you for watching the film as a thank you. Enter code BASS for 20% off any of the bass flies on our website. Again, with coupon code BASS. Also, while you're there, we have a brand new shirt that we got done by a local artist down in Birmingham called MB Block Prints. You might've seen some of her work, but she did an awesome new bass shirt for us. And consider grabbing one of those while you're there. That really helps us out, helps us be able to make more content for y'all. And guys, don't forget to drop us some comments. Let us know where you wanna see us next. And if you really enjoy our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys out there.